Hi right, guys, it is another gloomy Wednesday night here in the end times. Wednesday night, May 13, 2015. I'm waiting for the lightning bug show. And in the meantime, I just got one of the great comments I've ever received in four years on uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe uh, from a fellow, apparently he's not just brand new to the tribe, he's brand new to YouTube. A fellow named, I guess it's a guy, could be a girl, named Gold Seek. And this is Gold Seek responding to my, uh, my video on the Hopi prophecies for the end times, my Sunday sermon. So just in case you missed this, I, I just think that this has to be shared with the world. It's good to see Gold Seek uh, on YouTube. I think Gold Seek is going to create an interesting following. Take it away, Gold Seek. Tell us your response to the Hopi prophecies of the end times. Who exactly came up with the idiotic idea that the species must, meaning the human species, must survive? Last time I checked, before I was born, I had no difficulties. Before I was born, I was not going to die. Before I was born, I had no worries or fear. Before I was born, I was perfectly fine. Then some horny twats made love, and as a result of that, I am on death row. Stop breeding, and people will stop suffering. It is that simple. You breed because you are selfish, horny, and bored. You cause death by breeding. Being born equals gonna die. So duh, you are a murderer if you breed. Shoot someone equals they die, and birth a child equals they die. Murder is murder. If you are too weak and pathetic to survive without children, then commit suicide if you have any honor. Life equals death every single time, so breeding equals murder every single time. To not exist is perfection. By breeding, you rob your unborn children of perfection. If you do not exist, then you are not happy to not be sad or sad to not be happy because Good Lord, because you do not exist, you just are not. And that is fine. If you never existed, then you would never die. Thirst, hunger, feel, or, fi or feel any emotional or physical pain. The general idiotic response to this might be, but I would never be happy either. Remember feeling sad at not being born? Of course not, because you did not exist, so you had no emotions. You cannot be sad about not being... You, you cannot be sad about not being happy if you do not exist. Nor can you be happy about not being sad. Being happy... Because you like your house means being devastated when you grow old and realize you will die and lose it. Fear is the result of living. So, life is a curse. Hunger is a result of being born. Desire is the consequence of life. Had your parents loved you, they would have kept their pants on. But they were bored, selfish, and horny, and now 
you will die. Will you be so evil to your own flesh and blood? Prove your love for your unborn offspring and blow your brains out or eat a cyanide pill. Otherwise, you are nothing but a bored, selfish, horny prick trying to get off at the expense of your unborn offspring for the reason of bored, selfish, horny greed. You reap what you sow, and sowing life is sowing death, you murdering, selfish, horny animal. If you love your unborn sons and daughters, then do not curse them with the sickness of living. Life leads to sickness and death every single time. So do not kid yourself and call life a gift. When you birth a child, you cause it to die in nearly every single time that is horrific, slow, and painful, both emotionally and physically. There is no pain in not being born. Not being born cannot bother you since to be bothered, you must first be born. Non-existence is perfect peace. Non-existence is perfection. Do your unborn children a favor and keep your pants on. There you go. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I don't know. I guess I couldn't, <laughs> I guess I couldn't have said it better, gold seek. Uh, anyway, I noticed that, uh, gold seek, poor gold seek has no subscribers. I, I, I can't imagine why gold seek has no videos. Gold seek has no channels. Gold seek has no discussions. So, uh, go on Gold Seek's channel and, and, and give this man or this woman, uh, since there's no photo of Gold Seek, a pat on the back. Wow. And with that, uh, I guess it's either I'm going to go take a cyanide pill or go drink an ice cold cider and watch the lightning bugs, but it is raining again in Texas, where the drought is now officially over, as is this rant. Bye, guys.